Salutations, friends. It's your pal, Sid Stevie. And today, I am going to check out some knives that I just purchased from C. Reisner Cutlery, uh, traditionalpocketknives.com. Uh, before I get going, I am going to wet my whistle a little bit. I'm a little parched. Uh, drinking some coffee. Black like my soul. Yes, and before I forget, uh, if you could, give the video a like, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and all that good stuff, uh, it definitely does help things out. Uh, today's unpackaging knife is going to be my Spyderco Para 3. Uh, this one is wearing Rips Garage Tech, uh, black uh, burlap micarta scales, got a... Uh, Glow Rhino Tritium uh, plug in there for the uh, lanyard hole, and then a uh, titanium backspacer and a Lynch Northwest clip. So fully modded. I love this thing. Uh, it was a factory seconds. Uh, it's in Maximit. Yeah, uh, dig it. I dig it. But let's slice in to this box here and reveal its contents. See what uh, I picked up from Austin over at Traditional Pocket Knives. So, first things first, uh, we got some promotional... Holy crap, Austin. Whoo, look at that. Uh, lots of stickers to include in uh, giveaways. Uh, what else do we got in here? Yeah, even more stickers. Holy moly. So, I think you typically get, uh, you know, a TPK, um, whatchamacallit, a sticker there. Uh, and he included a bunch of, that's for the uh, Jigged Penguin. There's that one. There's that one. And then, <laughs> I've seen this one. Uh, Billy, here is your paycheck for the week. You should probably use it to catch up on bills. Billy, no! <laughs> Spend it on pocket knives from traditionalpocketknives.com. Uh, that's a really cool sticker. I like that. Uh, in here also is a uh, little note. Uh, thank you so much uh, from Austin. Awesome, awesome dude uh, Austin is. Before I get into uh, what I bought, uh, I do want to show off some of the exclusives. Uh, that he's got going on over on traditional pocket knives so you have the uh, jigged titanium uh, penguin plus uh, qsp penguin plus i'll put a link in the description for that i believe one of these variants is sold out right now but uh, this is an exclusive to uh, tpk uh, and they also have the mini penguin i'll leave all the links in the description i am an affiliate with uh, traditional pocket knives so uh, I do get a little uh, commission if you guys use my link, but it also on some knives will save you money as well. Uh, the Hedgehog, which I absolutely love. I own all these, by the way. Uh, and then a little bit about uh, traditional pocket knives. Uh, you know, he is a second generation owner. Uh, it was his grandpa's company. It's veteran owned. Um... Just uh, an, an amazing, an amazing uh, company. Uh, check out their mission statement there. I'll let you read that. But yes, uh, shout out to Austin. Uh, I think all y'all know uh, he's an amazing dude. Um, yeah, I'm going to have tons of stickers to be given away in uh, giveaways. But uh, let's get into uh, the things that I picked up. This... I'm just going to, let's see, just slice into the whole thing Yeah, I'm going to have to get this fitted for a, no, I don't know if I'll end up getting a slip for this or not, or if this is just going to be a kitchen knife. I think this is just going to be a kitchen knife, to be honest with you. Uh, but this is the, um, the GEC Cutlery, or Great Eastern Cutlery GEC uh, Steak Knife. That's right. I don't need a sheath for this. Uh, this is just a uh, made in the United States uh, GEC steak knife. This will be my own personal steak knife for uh, when I'm at home. 
Uh, what's the steel on this? Probably, I'm going to guess it's 1095. Uh, nothing fancy here. Uh, it's in uh, rustic uh, muslin uh, micarta. But uh, I saw it on the website, and it looked cool, so I picked it up. So there is that. Uh, I think that those are uh, $45. I will link that in the description. And then a knife that I saw a couple people getting, and it seemed pretty cool. And I picked up one, but uh, not just one, but two. Uh, one is going to be in an upcoming uh, 3K uh, subscriber giveaway. But this is the American Buffalo Knife and Tool ABK uh, Cattleman's Cutlery. Uh, what is this? This is the... I forget what the actual name of it is. It's the... Uh, the Chuck Wagon. That's right. The Chuck Wagon. So it comes all wrapped up here. There we go. Set this stuff off to the side. And here we go. So, you got a single blade. This is a, a slip joint, by the way, a traditional. Um, I forget what the uh, wood is on, uh, or the what the scale materials are. I believe it is zebra wood, yes. Uh, so you have zebra wood on the there's another plane flying overhead. I'm outside if you guys haven't uh, noticed. But uh, zebra wood on the scales. Uh, polished steel bolsters. And then the cool thing is not only is it a knife, but it's a fork. Yes. <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's a fork and a uh, bottle opener. And... Oh, yeah, listen to that thing. It's got a nice little ting to it. Oh, yeah, listen to that. Did it do it? Nope. Yeah, uh, these are like 30 boxes all. And these are made in the United States. I believe in Tennessee is where these are made. And, uh, yeah, not a strong pull by any means. I don't, and no half stop, but uh, just a nice uh, clip point style blade here, uh, stainless on, I don't know what the carbon steel is, but I'm assuming it's just carbon steel. Uh, this is a nice uh, kitchen knife, uh, backpack knife. I'm going to, this will actually, I will get a slip for this and I'm going to uh, put this in the backpack. You never know when it'll come in uh, handy. But, yeah. So, just a couple quick uh, little um, uh, pickups from the homie Austin over at traditionalpocketknives.com. C. Reisner Cutlery. One of my uh, favorite companies. I will link everything in the description. Uh, and... If you think uh, you want to pick one up yourself, uh, go ahead and do so. Ah, there you go, folks. Um, and again, I picked up a second one, so I will be including this in a giveaway uh, coming up. I am gearing up for my 3K giveaway. I know I'm still like 400 subs short, but um, I've got a couple donations, but uh, for the most part... Um, and. People that have just reached out and said they wanted to donate something. But uh, for the most part, I'm trying to put this all together with uh, money that I get from channel memberships. So a way to give back uh, to the community uh, coming up here pretty soon. And yeah, that's all I got for you. Uh, appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, if you haven't already, please do uh, give it uh, the thumbs up. Uh, you can subscribe right here if you haven't already. And then whatever that video might be that pops up, uh, if you haven't checked that out, you can watch that and give it a like. And yeah, until the next one, I bid you mofos, I deuces.